Hey stoners, welcome to another edition of Sticks and Stones. I am your host, Brent Elrod, coming to you from the cozy confines of the patio at the No Shoes Bar and Grill, deep in the heart of the Republic of Texas. I have a great show lined up for you today. Uh, I would like to announce that Sticks and Stones now has its own line of coffee called Leaping Goats Coffee. You can find it at our store, S-T-I-C-K-S-N-S-T-O-N-E-Z, the number one, dot myshopify.com. Sticks and Stones one dot myshopify.com. If you're watching the video, it'll be right up here or right down here or right across here. Uh, getting back to our show. Uh, I am continuing with the Placencia series, and today I am going to be pairing the Placencia Alma del Campo with Tres Amigos Extra Nejo Tequila. I think it's going to be a great matchup, so let's pop the cork, cut the stick, and get to toasting. Now this Alma del Campo is a Guajiro which is five by 54 on the ring gauge. It is a Nicaraguan Puro, which means the binder, filler, and wrapper are all Nicaraguan tobaccos. Uh, visually, it is a beautiful milk chocolate brown. Uh, it's got a, a nice oil sheen to it, uh, minimal veining, tight seams, a very large double cap, and uh, almost flawless construction. Now on the nose, I get uh, cocoa, earth, leather, uh, cedar, and uh, I have, uh, dark fruits, kind of like uh, ripe plums. Let's go ahead and get it cut so we can See what the cold draw offers. Now the cold draw is fairly simple. Uh, I get cocoa, cedar, and uh, coffee beans. Ready to try this out. Now, Trace Amigos has been around since 2007, but they have a agave growing and tequila making history that goes back four generations. So they are well versed in the making of tequila and their their fields and their distillation takes place in the Jalisco region of Mexico. It's double distilled. The extra anejo is aged two plus years. It is 40% alcohol by volume, 80 proof. So let's go ahead and pop the cork and take a look at it. As you can see, that is a uh, just a very beautiful, beautiful kind of dark gold, uh, deep amber color. Um, very beautiful in the glass. Uh, it has a very nice viscosity. Even after my first swirl, there's still a line up where uh, the the height that it reached in the glass. Uh, so very good viscosity in this uh, in this tequila. I'm uh, really looking forward to trying it. Now on the nose. I get uh, cooked agave, caramel, vanilla, salt and lime, and kind of a buttery creaminess uh, in, in the nose. On the palate.
It's very smooth. Um, I get vanilla. Um, black pepper. Quite a bit of black pepper, actually. Uh, caramel, butter, cinnamon. And uh, fruit. Uh, the finish, the finish is pretty strong, and there's there's a, a hint of uh, bitterness in the finish, um, sort of a, a citrusy kind of margarita -y bitterness. This is uh, this is a very good tequila. All right, let's go ahead and get this Alma del Campo fired up. As you can probably tell, a wonderful volume of smoke coming off this stick from the very first light. Uh, it is a, uh, it's a very delicious stick. Um, I'm getting espresso. Cedar. And what I can describe as uh, buttery popcorn. Those blend very well together. The um, kind of buttery creaminess uh, that I mentioned uh, in uh, the stick uh, also comes through in the tequila, as I mentioned earlier, uh, and uh, uh, I, I think the the fruitiness uh, also blends together very well. Uh, there's some lime, some salt, some pepper, uh, some dark fruits. Um, this uh, right out of the gate, this is a pretty good matchup. I'm going to go ahead and burn it down to the uh, halfway mark, and I'll come back and give you an update. Hey stoners, we're about the halfway mark. Wanted to uh, give you a quick update here. Uh, these two are still going together very, very well. Uh, as we moved closer to the halfway mark, uh, I started getting some uh, notes of bread, uh, creamy peanut butter, and uh, black pepper, uh, which is kind of flowing along with the creamy butteriness uh, and the black pepper that I picked up in the tequila. So these, this is turning out to be a very, very good pairing. I am, uh, I am very much impressed by both. Uh, I will go ahead and burn these down, come back and give you my final thoughts. Hey stoners, I am back. We are almost down to the band and uh, our glass is empty. Um, uh, I am very happy with this uh, this pairing. Uh, it went together very, very well. Uh, I don't think I could have uh, done any better in matching uh, a tequila with this particular cigar. Uh, I think the cinnamon, the vanilla, the creamy peanut butter, uh, dark chocolate, espresso, caramel, all those things just kind of really tied together and uh, made for a very enjoyable uh, couple hours. And uh, I think you should definitely, 
give these two a try. Um, I would give the uh, Alma Del Campo a uh, 4.9 out of five matchsticks. I would give the Tres Amigos Extra Anejo. Um, I would give it a 4.5 out of five whiskey stones. Uh, and uh, I think you should definitely, definitely give these two a try. Uh, I look forward to being with you again. Uh, I do have one more stick in the Placencia series, and uh, we'll bring, be bringing that to you, hopefully, uh, weather permitting, uh, in about a week. And uh, uh, look forward to uh, seeing what I can pair together with uh, that particular stick. Uh, <clears throat> Be sure to hit like, subscribe, share, notify, ring the bells, all that kind of stuff so that you can uh, keep up when I have new content drop. I am pretty much anywhere these days. Uh, uh, Instagram, Getter, Rumble, uh, uh, Spotify for podcasts, uh, also iTunes for podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeart Podcasts. Uh, you can pretty much hear me or see me just about anywhere and uh, really enjoy getting to spend some time with you and uh, hope to see you back for our next get together. Uh, remember, go to the store sticks-stones1.myshopify.com where you can get you a really snazzy looking uh, sticks and stones polo or you can pick up some of that great Leaping Goats brand coffee uh, to mix with your favorite stick and uh, it also other, other things there as well. Lighters, cutters, uh, you can pick up some of the Cigarism accessories. We always like to give a shout out to Cigarism for uh, keeping us in uh, ashtrays and cutters, lighters and things of that nature. You can get all of those there, the ones we actually use on the show. Uh, but until we get together next week, make sure to keep your sticks dry, your stones cold. Have a great day.